When it comes to mating, the rules are the same everywhere. In the sea, as in our world, males and females have to find a way to bring eggs and sperm together. And timing is everything. But first, they have to make sure they found the right mate. Jacks signal their readiness to mate by changing to a darker color. Just look at this couple. One sports the traditional silver colors, while the other is now adorned in black. After pairing off, many creatures go dancing, just like us. This male turtle swims up behind the female and hangs on with his fins and tail as she spins him around in a nice little waltz. This crab dance looks more like the Charleston. Some crabs put on a real dance marathon, moving together for days until the time is right for the male to give sperm directly to the female. Despite all their armor, the crabs have it easy. They actually touch. Many creatures don't even do that, but they still find ingenious ways to mingle sperm and eggs without touching. You could call this dance the funky flounder. Male peacock flounders put on a show for the female who stays on the bottom and watches. Then when she's ready, they flounce around together and release sperm and eggs simultaneously into the water. Damselfish need a more rock solid foundation to their relationship. The female chooses a scooped out part of the reef to deposit her eggs. You can see the tiny white eggs on the rock behind her. Then the male moves in and fertilizes the eggs with sperm. That's too boring for these wrasses. Some species of wrasses spawn all year long in big groups. They start by milling around near the reef. Then when everyone is ready, they shoot to the surface and release their sperm and eggs in big puffs. The wrasse party is fine if you can swim, but how do stay-at-homes like corals, gorgonians, and sea fans get together with the opposite sex? They release sperm and eggs into the sea, but before that, they communicate. To make sure the moment is right, corals respond to lots of subtle signals from their environment. They pay close attention to the season, the tide, and the time of day, and may communicate by sending out certain chemicals. For them, nighttime is the right time. But not just any night. Some male and female corals and sea fans wait up to an entire year for just the right moment to mate. Then they release eggs and sperm into the water on the exact same night. Those corals that are ready when the big night arrives have the best chance of passing on their genes. This crazy cloud is a swarm of mating palola worms. Like corals, they wait for that one special night to reproduce. Palola worms live buried in the rocky reef, but when mating season is near, their hind parts fill with sperm and eggs. They break off and wriggle to the surface. Here they explode like fireworks. The sea does the rest, combining the ingredients that will produce a new generation.